know how you formulated the words to be able to write something to this because I was speechless when I left that film. I, I saw the screening twice. My first screening, of course I was asked to see the screening to write, to, to write the song. And so I took my, my Blackberry and you know, I went prepared. And every, every time I cried really, really hard, I would you know, take a minute, clean myself up and write down why. And then I would get angry, then I would write down why. And then it would, different things that these women were saying, I would write down in my, my pages. So I was working, but I was, it was hard to work because the film was so moving, but I did it. I did what I had to do. The tone of the film, I love that it was all women and it was powerful and it falls right into the, the, the thought of what you have for Fawn. Right. Um, is that something that was in your heart as well? What was in my heart was the fact that when I began to speak first of all, on the, on the very, on the My Life album, is when all the women responded. But I had the courage to speak, just like Aveline had the courage to speak, and then all the women responded to her and helping her write the book. My fans helped me write the Mary J. Blige book. You know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, it was all those moments that inspired, you know, th those words in the song, you know? And especially the last part when, when you see her after she gets fired and she's walking up the road, that part right there, you know, is what gave me the not so literal title, you know, for the song, which is The Living Proof. Mm -hmm. 